Hi guys, it is another just brutal, miserable, hot midsummer day here in late May in the end times, the former paradise of Garfield, Texas here on Friday, May 25th, 2018. Uh, good God Almighty, so uh, I got a lot on my my eco-Nazi plate, uh, so we're going to start. Yeah. Well guys, I was going thinking about making this uh, my comment of the day, but I'm just going to kind of make this a, a separate email that today, today, May 25th, 2018, will start a new chapter in Humpty Dumpty Tribe as I am declaring Humpty Dumpty Tribe a Kim Trail Wacko Free Zone. From this point forward. Okay, I will say to this video you're listening right now, anybody out there who wants to try to convince anybody with a brain that there has been for at least 20 years and as I believe Dane Wigington is saying, going back to the 1940s, a planet-wide uh, effort by the mysterious they to have this ongoing secret clandestine program to spray these chemtrails for whatever reason. Uh, whether it be a clandestine solar radiation management program, a depopulation agenda program, whatever, I want you to take this opportunity on this video, on this video, to come on here and, and you can throw out whatever fucking ignorant evidence you want, you can bray your ignorance all over the pages trying to convince us folks with brains who are fans of science that we are the clueless fucking morons. Knock yourself out. Send us all the links. Send us all the reports that you want to and, and, and have fun and, and I will let you go on here to identify yourself to those of us with brains. Okay? Alright, here's your chance. And after this video, here is the rule on, uh, on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. If you ever, ever mention th these goddamn chemtrails, and I don't even care, guys, if, if you agree with me that uh, chemtrails are bullshit. I don't want to hear that anymore even though I agree with you. The, 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 the debate is over on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. The, the first offense, your comment, will be removed after today, after this video. The second time you come on here and, and, and waste our time braying your ignorance about chemtrails, you will be kicked off the tribe. I am not. I repeat, I am not going to let Humpty Dumpty Tribe devolve in, 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 into this. I am not going to sully the, the pages and, and waste the time of intelligent people with this unadulterated horse shit any longer. It, it is, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that any more than I'm going to open up these pages to these fucking climate change denier, uh, clueless fucking morons. We have got plenty of things to talk about uh, on this channel other than fucking chemtrails and Dane Wigington and Dutch Sense and Alex Jones. Tell it to somebody who fucking cares. Go over there to one of your chemtrail sites, get down your little rabbit hole with your fellow clueless fucking morons, preach to the choir all you want to your choir about how fucking clueless uh, those guys over there on Humpty Dumpty Tribe are. Go over there, tell it to somebody who fucking cares.
I am bored up to here with your horse shit. Alright, but what I was going to do is uh, get into this, I don't know how uh, how long this string went uh, with with uh, my buddy Valhalla 5-6. I'm, I'm very glad uh, that Val has chosen to stay in the tribe, that uh, he understands that we can agree to disagree, and he's not going to go off in, in a fucking huff because we won't uh, agree that uh, chemtrails have been on this ongoing program. I just want to, I do want to share, as long as I'm here, uh, this one comment where Val, what, what he did was, first he starts off with a Carl Sagan quote, quote, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. And so what Val sent me is an article from the MIT, I believe that's Massachusetts Institute of Technology website, uh, where Harvard University is currently openly doing geoengineering experiments under Professor David Keith. And he is presenting this as extraordinary evidence that for the past 20 to 50 years that hundreds of thousands of millions of airplanes have been flying around this planet for whatever reason in this secret uh, program. And here is the, uh, the article, Harvard scientists moving ahead on plans for atmospheric geoengineering experiments. And this was from over a year ago. The climate researchers in, intend to launch a high altitude balloon that would spray a small quantity of reflective particles into the stratosphere. A pair of Harvard climate scientists are preparing small scale atmospheric experiments that could offer insights into the feasibility and risks of deliberately altering the climate to ease global warming. The, they would be among the earliest official geoengineering related experiments conducted outside of a controlled laboratory or a computer model underscoring the growing sense of urgency among scientists to begin seriously studying the possibility um, at, of, of chemtrails as the threat of climate change mounts. And this was my two-part response to, uh, to Val uh, about his extraordinary evidence. I'm actually going to going to start, uh, I'm, I'm going to mash up my, I had two responses. I'm going to start out actually with my second comment to Val when I, after I actually read uh, the article. <clears throat> this article in no way, shape, or form provides one iota of evidence extraordinary or otherwise to jump to the ignorant conclusion that geoengineering, where we're talking about chemtrails, has been going on for years as the chemtrail wackos claim. And I was one making the claim for years. And I would add not only does it, does it not offer one iota of evidence to back up the chemtrail uh, wacko's claim. If anything, I would say what it does is discredit. It does offer uh, plenty of evidence that these chemtrail wackos are ignorant fucking clueless morons. That's the only evidence that I see in this article. <clears throat> okay. 
let's see, any first year journalism student writing an article about chemtrails using this article as evidence for their reality would get the F that they would deserve and would be sent back to Logic 101. Okay, then I'm going to come back to the end of this. Let me go back to my first response to Val's uh, extraordinary evidence that he was presenting. I remember reading this exact article when it came out a year ago or some mainstream media summation of it. It is totally in line with the predictions I have been making from the early days of Humpty Dumpty Tribe when I was a chemtrail wacko. And it goes in lockstep with the same predictions that I have been making since I ate my tin foil hat. It also goes directly in step with the predictions that Al Gore made in his excellent book, The Future. Looking at trends, you can expect to see unfolding over the balance of this century. I would have to comb through 5,000 videos, but I'm pretty sure I was predicting at least as far back as 2012 that geoengineering, including chemtrails, will be mainstream media news by 2020, and I still stand by that prediction, though I may be erring by a couple of years too early. As you know, I don't make many timeline predictions on this channel, but this one is a no-brainer, especially considering that it, meaning chemtrails, is baked into the Paris Climate Agreement. And anybody denying that, that chemtrails will be a reality in the next few years, anybody denying that is every bit as deluded as any chemtrail wacko claiming today that they, they have been chemtrailing us for years. And uh, <laughs> then I uh, get back to, let, let me mash back up. Anyway, listen, listen to me falling for your shit to drag me back into this pointless, de pointless debate of whether fucking chemtrails are real in 2018. They're not. <clears throat> or whether chemtrails will be real in a few years. They will be at which point the debate will be settled once and for all and the chemtrail wackos can then find some other imaginary evil Easter Bunny to chase after. Now, from this point forward, any response you or anyone else makes to this comment will be removed. I was writing this at uh, 1 o'clock in the morning last night. I am going to bed, and starting tomorrow morning, meaning today, Humpty, Drop, Humpty Dumpty Tribe will be a chemtrail-free zone. Really. I swear. And I just want to add one little asterisk to that. I will be continuing to report on all of the mad scientists like this fucking whack job, uh, David Keith. I will be continuing to report uh, as a chronicler uh, of the collapse of a planet. Obviously, I will be continuing to report the ongoing uh, baked in the cake program to bring out chemtrails. Okay? And so, when chemtrails are an in-your-face, impossible deny reality, whether it's 2020 or 2022, uh, in the next few years, I can say nanny nanny boo boo, I told you so. But with that, guys, is there any part of this statement that anybody is there anything that I just said that is ambiguous, that you cannot get through your brain, 
that I don't want to hear your shit anymore on this channel. Okay? If the only reason you're on Humpty Dumpty Tribe uh, is to talk about chemtrails, would you please do us the favor of getting the fuck out of Humpty Dumpty Tribe? Because there's no room for you on the Humpty Dumpty Tribe Island. Uh, but whether or not you are a chemtrail wacko or not, if you do have a brain about the 10 million other things we need to be talking about uh, here in the end times that is not about chemtrails, by all means, uh, keep commenting. Just, uh, just, uh, I, I, I'm done with it, guys. I'm fucking fed up to here with it. Don't push me. So one more time, come out here, knock yourself out, identify yourself. So we all know who we're dealing with uh, if we ever meet you in the uh, comment section or in real life. We, uh, the, the folks with brains can tell ourselves, for God's sake, don't mention chemtrails to this wacko. And with that, I'm going to wrap up this little video and come back with my real comment of the day uh, coming up in one minute. Bye, guys.